Hey, how's it going? Bob Debu here, here today to talk about quarter notes, tempo, and using the metronome. A really slow metronome to help dial in our internal pulse. I know people are pro-metronome, people are anti-metronome, some people are in the middle. I am in the middle. I think using the metronome is a great tool, but it's not the only tool that we should use, obviously. You wanna play with as many live musicians as possible. Playing along with recordings is another fantastic option, and you should do all of that, obviously. But a metronome can really help to dial in our sense of internal pulse, as I was talking about. So what we're gonna do here is start with a metronome just at 40 beats per minute. I'm gonna let that roll here now. So if I just start talking and trying to snap along with that, if I don't think too much about like my subdivisions or think about really what's happening with that, you can hear that I'm kind of flamming against that and not really in the groove at all, right? I'm just trying to demonstrate that, how it sounds like flamming, right? A flam is like a drum, like a stick hitting, and then the next one hitting just right after it to make it sound like two drummers perhaps, but it's not lined up. We want to try to lock in with that immediately. So the best way, I think, to start with that, especially at a tempo like this, again, we're at 40 beats per minute, is to hear subdivisions. You could hear eighth notes, and two, and three, and four, and, or triplets, tri bo lit, tri bo lit. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, sixteenths. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. You could use a metronome this slow too to practice playing in five, seven, et cetera. Just call that beat one. It's really versatile to use a slow metronome like that. And that's the whole concept here. So what we're gonna do, just to get started, you can do this on any instrument, obviously, what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna show you a really quick bass line, starting in B flat. This is the bass line that we're gonna use for all of our exercises and concepts today. So I'd like you to join me on this if you can. So just B flat, D, E flat, E, F, G, a flat, A, B flat. We're trying to get really a point, a really strong attack at the beginning of each of those notes, but you could do this on saxophone, tuba, piano, any instrument, electric bass, no problem. That's the bass I'm gonna use for all of this. So here's that metronome again. So find the triplets. Triplet, triplet, or one, two, three, one, two, three. And let's play that bass line, okay? So one, two, three, two. So this tempo otherwise might be kind of tricky to dial in. But by practicing with the metronome and feeling those subdivisions, I feel like we can lock it in when we get to the bandstand and play with other people. Especially from the bass player's point of view, we want these quarter notes to be rock solid. Okay? So there's times where you can hear I'm a little bit ahead, a little bit behind. I'm practicing here. That should happen, right? It's okay to make these little mistakes and things like that. Let's get to the next concept on this 40 beats per minute metronome click. We were just calling it one of the one, two, three. Let's call it two now. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Play that bass line. Two, three. Hearing all those subdivisions, I can play this note nice and long and really just focus on where the attack is at the beginning of the beat. Three, one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Right? Do this over improvised walking lines, melodies, changes that you're practicing, and that goes for every exercise we're gonna do today, obviously, too. The baseline is just to get us, you know, on the same page. Okay, so, and by the way, if we have that on clicking on two, it kind of feels like a hi-hat uh, might do, a drummer might do, if we're playing in three. So it's kind of interesting to think about that. Let's shift it over again now and call this click number three. So just say three, three, and then feel that triplet subdivision. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, two, three. It's just a different way to dial it in, right?
-hmm. Make sense? So it's a great idea to get flexible doing that at tempos like this, at 40 beats per minute. What we're gonna do next is shift into keeping the metronome still clicking at 40 beats per minute, but think about them being half notes instead of quarter notes. So by doing that, we're doubling our reference point, and we're trying to keep the pulse here, just frame the metronome in a different way. I'll show you more what I mean as we progress here. So bringing back the metronome click here, let's now call this one and three of 80 beats per minute, okay? So the go-to a lot of times in jazz, right, you get people counting off tunes, you'll say two, three, four, to one, two, three, four, to emulate that hi-hat. Right? But what I want to do is get to it another way. We're going to start off actually saying one and three. One, three. Those are the big strong beats. But what we're going to do is shift our line over from triplets, the straight eighth notes, to another triplet and get ourselves to two and four. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to start off just playing the bass line like this. Join me here. One, two, three, go. really want that to be locked in, the attacks. And you can hear triple it, triple it, triple it, here too. So now what I want to do next is just kind of shift over a little bit. Don't think too hard on this, but. So what just happened is that I move the metronome to the third triplet of beats two and beat four, and it kind of gives it that little skip that you might hear in the ride pattern, in the typical jazz ride pattern, right? So again, I'm starting off thinking one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and they're just pulling it back. But keeping that same pulse, I'm still clicking at 80. I've just reframed what the metronome is doing. Make sense? Let's do it with the bass line again. One, two, three, four. So play it right down the middle two times, and then just pull it back. Here's our second time. So I'm gonna hit beat one dead on, and then beat two, I'm just gonna pull back a hair. And it's kind of like getting up on a skateboard, you know what I mean? I could say that I'm going to start this bass line on the second triplet of beat one. To me, that's, that's doing a lot of thinking. You can totally think that way, but then you're kind of keeping this metronome as the pulse generator or whatever you want to call it. But I'm trying to think about it being here instead and make that kind of feel weird. Cool? So you can take that a step further. Here, I'm going to go two, three, four, one. And then I'll shift it back so I'm feeling the eighth note or the triplet. There it is. I'll keep it there one more time. Next, I'm going to pull it back again and watch what happens. So now it's feeling like a straight eighth note, right? You'll notice that too as you're practicing this, if you slow down from that first, you know, like putting the, the third triplet on, if you start to drag, you'll feel the metronome feeling like straight eighth notes. So you just push it back up. Back towards that triple, 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 triple. Okay, so that's back on the third triplet. Let's move it back to the eighth note. Feel it. And if you need to shift, that's cool. We're practicing. So I'm gonna shift back again. it again to where now it's the second triplet, kind of like what we were doing back at 40, right? So you can keep doing that. If we go one more over, we'll push it to two and four, like what I was talking about earlier. Okay, so let's see if we can just start on one and three. So here's, this is one and three, two, three. Now shift it. Two, three, now shift it again. time, and we're on two and four, using 
that same bass line, same tempo, we just kind of pull it back a little bit and we're putting that metronome on different parts of the beat of that bass line that we're doing. So it just gives us some more flexibility here with how we practice time. Again, it's all about the quarter notes, but I'm trying to stay strong here and not give into what I, my ear is hearing from the metronome. Happy practicing. Again, my name is Bob Debu. Peace.